Was für ein Ding? Bin ich zu klein? Am I too small for the stand? You see, uh, I prefer being behind the stand. I'm a politician, sorry for that. No, sorry for standing behind the stand, not sorry for being a politician. Dear Steffi, dear Dr. Yadi, uh, dear Mr. Weiss, dear DLD community, I'm so glad to be here today. Thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor, it's a pleasure for me to be at the DLD with you all today. Together, we can um, finally, we can reconnect to learn, to love, to be inspired by new technologies, impressive thought leaders, by forward thinkers. And this is what makes DLD so special. That is what um, DLD is about, to connect the unexpected, to explore the future. That is what we all have missed during the past pandemic years. And yes, we continue to live in difficult times, times that urge us to take action. Putin's war on Ukraine, climate change, the energy crisis, you name it. And yes, I can understand all who just want to close their eyes, those who want to go back to a supposedly simpler to a better world. But only looking into the past has never helped. We need new technologies to solve humankind's biggest challenges. And we need to use these technologies the right way. This is what I consider to be tech for good. Our goal, however, requires a new digital policy, one that relates to our values, but also recognizes the potential of tech innovation. This new digital policy is what I am working on as the Minister for Digital Affairs in Bavaria. Because in the best case scenario, mm, we can achieve both. That is doing something good and also create huge economic success. Let's just take a look um, at how we overcame the corona pandemic. We can safely meet here today because researchers developed a vaccine at record speed. Cutting edge technologies help us to return to normal. And the developing entrepreneurs have not only made medical breakthroughs, but also high returns. In Bavaria, we always welcome entrepreneurs like this. We are home to established companies and startups that aim for innovation. We host leading research institutes such as uh, Fraunhofer, the Max Planck Society, and some of the best universities in Europe. That's why Munich, that's why Bavaria, is home for DLD for years. Dear DLD community, we all are aware that companies in Silicon Valley, as well as in China, are already taking technology to the next level. CRISPR genes scissors is one of the most important scientific developments so far this century. It has the potential to transform agriculture and medicine and can even cure certain types of cancer. The metaverse will anchor our leisure and work time even more deeply in, reality, in virtual reality. That sounds fantastic and fascinating, but the standard for new technologies can't only be higher, faster, and further. Our pursuit of progress cannot become an end in itself. It is crucial that the values we consider important, such as solidarity, justice, diversity of opinion, gender equality, and tolerance, continue to exist. It would go, go even further by stating that these values are more important than ever today. Therefore, I'm committed to a new digital policy that must be social and must be fair. By social, I mean technologies um, that bring society together. We are already at the point where the digital divide is becoming more and more obvious. We cannot build common ground as a society when one part already 
um, lives in the metaverse while the other part is still rooted in the past or doesn't have access to broadband internet at all. Everyone should benefit from the great new opportunities ahead of us, regardless of age, of gender or origin. At the same time, we all have to make people want to try new things, to encourage their curiosity to enter the new world. In Bavaria, for example, we launched an app to educate our children how to navigate digital media in a, um, a fun, in a playful way, and to guide them on their first steps in the digital world. Dear DLD community, our digital policy also have to make sure that the use of technology is fair. Because unfortunately, while new tech offers many opportunities, we are continuously confronted with its negative effects at the same time. Throughout the corona pandemic and now um, during P Putin's war on Ukraine, we see the rise of disinformation, of fake news and hate speech spreading through the big platforms such as Facebook. And Mr. Zuckerberg is still not doing enough to stop it. We simply cannot allow an internet with no rules, a space where anything goes and the discourse is toxic, where hate and divide are amplified by algorithms, where peaceful voices are no longer heard. Digital hatred and filter bubbles damage the greater good of plurality, and this is poison to our democracy. We need to create a fair digital space, a space what is, um, that is guided by rights and requirements for everyone. Social and fair, this must be the principles for our new digital age. Tech for good should always be our North Star. There is um, what I think you, the DLD community, can contribute towards the common goal to create and to, to shape our future, we need bold digital companies that uh, build the economy of tomorrow. But at the same time, we need entrepreneurs who recognize their own responsibility to create a positive impact on all our lives. We need a tech industry that solves the problems um, that we are currently facing at, um, as humankind without creating new problems on that way. As policymakers, we, on the other hand, must create a framework for the digital age that enables growth and innovation, and to make sure that growth and innovation serve everybody. One example, it was particularly important to create the European Digital Services Act that pushed major platforms towards a fairer internet for artificial intelligence that offers so much opportunity, we need to create clear guidelines and rules. Consequently, we must identify um, the risks, the problematic effects. For example, we cannot allow decision, um, decisions based on unfair and uh, biased AI. And of course, we must additionally identify areas in which the use of artificial intelligence is unacceptable at all. However, it is also important to me that we continue to foster innovation. After all, this is the only way to actively shape our future. So, dear DLD community, I am committed to a social, to a fair digital policy that enables necessary progress and sets clear guidelines for everyone. For me, this is the key to mastering our future challenges, and I'm looking forward to taking one or no many steps forward with all of you today here at DLD. Thank you very much. Thank you.